How many times do we try to get God to do things? And David says there are times when God just wants to say things. And see, I've inventoried my prayer life sometimes, and I realize that it's all about begging God to do stuff. God, I need you to start this. I need you to stop this, prevent this, provision for this, do that. Sometimes God doesn't mind the doing, but it occurs to me through David, sometimes God doesn't want to do things for you. God just wants to say things to you. And according to David, there's no better way to hear God, to see God, than to read Scripture. What if the primary tool that you and I had for hearing what God had to say to us, the most effective access point that you and I had to know God, was found on the pages in this book? David says, I've been reading it, and I think that it is. Verse 103, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, therefore I hate every wrong path. Law is shaped, my values, what's right and what's wrong. And then there's this kind of famous line, and even if you don't go to church, you probably know this line, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light unto my path. Now, this is written hundreds of years before David was born. And I read that about the lamp under the feet and this great imagery conjured up about a dark alley and a light that provides some measure of comfort and safety. And I think these texts were written hundreds of years before David, yet he somehow thinks it's applicable to my feet right here, right now. This is personal, a light for my path. This isn't general theory. This is a light for the moment that I'm in. I'm dealing with a death. I'm dealing with a cancer. I'm dealing with a failure. I don't have a job. I'm over my head in debt. This is a light for my path. This is personal. This is not big theology only for preachers or people that went to seminary. The best I can tell from reading scripture, David never even went to school. Right? He just started as a shepherd, and he did something heroic, and woo, we got elevated pretty quickly. This isn't for theologians of deep thought. This is just a guy who's so desperate for God, and he says, all I know is all I know, but I'm telling you, when I read this, it helps. Something happens, and so I'm going to keep reading it. I'm going to keep reading it through the excuses. I'm going to keep reading it when I don't understand it. I'm going to keep reading it when I try to fall asleep. I'm going to keep reading it when it's boring. I'm going to keep reading it because something happens profound in my life. And I think David's right. And it's okay to say I'm not smart enough. Just read it. It's okay to say I kind of pretended like I knew it, but really I couldn't find Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John. I don't even know where those are. It's Relax, just read it. It's alive. And it will come alive in your heart the more you read it. 